This is a very curious problem from complex numbers. It looks like that we are asked to compute 165th power of a certain complex number and uh, that, that might seem a little uh, challenging at first but uh, let's, let's do this in a more geometric way because after all if you uh, think about a complex number a plus ib it's nothing but a point a comma b on the complex plane in fact what is a complex plane is just the normal coordinate plane with a special rule of multiplication defined on it a link on the description will take you to a discussion on complex number and the course of chinta on complex numbers uh, and in that course we discuss how complex multiplication how complex multiplication is nothing but rotation and uh, dilation in disguise so what we basically want to accomplish using the big formula for complex multiplication is these two geometric motions <coughs> anyway coming back to it for the purpose of this discussion let's draw the point root 3 by 2 plus i times half this point is nothing but so this is root 3 by 2 comma half it's a very interesting property of this point uh, and that will be useful for our problem its distance from the origin is 1 and you can check it if the origin is 0 comma 0 the normal distance formula works so root 3 by 2 minus 0 square plus half minus 0 square and that's square root of 3 over 4 plus 1 over 4 which is simply 1 so in fact this it's often useful to draw the unit circle when you are using points which are one unit away from the origin so we have this unit circle and uh, this point root 3 by 2 comma half and is on that let's uh, reflect the point root 3 by 2 comma half about x-axis so if we do that we will come to this point which is root 3 by 2 minus half now this point will also be on the unit circle because its distance from the origin is also 1 so let's join these two now let's find the length of each side of this triangle a o b so if this is a this is b this is o so this length is one because the radius of your unit circle is one this is one recall that this is half because the y coordinate was half and since it, this is a reflected image, this is also half. So in fact, this segment AB is also 1. So in, we, what we see here is that AOB is, a, is an equilateral triangle. And uh, certainly we could have reached this conclusion using some sort of a trigonometric reformulation, but that's fine. Uh, let's stick to elementary ideas so that means this angle is 60 degree this angle AOB so this much if this point is M so angle AOM is half of it which is 30 degree uh, my contention is that this point A it's one unit away from the origin and it's making an angle of 30 degree with the positive direction of x-axis so its polar coordinate is 1 comma 30 degree and that's a very important uh, information um, about this point because multiplying points in polar coordinates is super easy so here is the 
key idea multiplying points in polar coordinates is super easy why is that it's because uh, if you have r comma theta and if you want to multiply it with itself what happens is the length multiplies you get r square and the angles add up so you get theta plus theta which is 2 theta this is exactly what I was saying that the length gets multiplied which is basically the dilation part and the angles get added so this is the rotation this is the rotation and this is dilation uh, so if I multiply 1 comma 30 degree with itself 165 times what we get is 1 raised to 165 comma 165 times 30 degree 30 degree added to itself 165 times that's it okay so we can actually do more because every time we add 30 degree to itself 12 times we get 360 degree so basically we are at the point 1 comma 0 right because the length is 1 and if the angle is 360 degree that's simply the point 1 comma 0 um, in Cartesian plane so let's see how many times this uh, 360 degree rotation happens if I multiply by 165 so 165 if you divide it by 12 you will get 12 times 13 which is 156 and the remainder is 9 so there will be 13 such rotations that means 13 times this this will visit uh, 1 comma 0 point and after that it will go 9 more 30 degree laps okay so that means that this is equivalent to 1 comma 9 times 30 degree which is 1 comma 270 degree and we all know what that is 1 comma 270 degree is a point which is making 270 degree angle with the positive direction of x-axis and one unit away from the origin that's the point 0 comma negative 1 or in complex number terms is simply negative i um, remember the point i is simply the point 0 comma 1 so uh, the reason I took a little time to explain some of the geometric aspects of it is because I'm not really interested in the solution per se uh, this problem gives you an insight into how complex numbers actually work and what they are uh, link in the description will take you to some more resources on this um, thank you for watching